Hello everyone, welcome to the hand. It's mail call time. Haven't done one of these in a little bit. Ordered a bunch of cards. Um, I'm a little worried, because um, as you can see, I don't want to get my info there, uh, but they bent the packaging. Um, I don't know if it actually bent the cards. It feels like they were kind of selective on where they put the cards in the envelope. Uh, so let's uh, hope that they did that correctly. This is from uh, Sales by Stephen B. over in uh, Orange City, Florida. So, Stephen, let us see what you have for us. Man, this is really sealed. I may have to... Where's my knife? <laughs> may have to break out the knife here. Ugh, gotta be careful, don't want to slice anything up. All right, and as with most of the times that I order uh, things, uh, <laughs> I never remember exactly what it is that I ordered until I left. Okay, this, the, well, the packaging is pretty good. It looks like they packaged it up really well. Oh, oh, nice. Okay, good. They were smart. They left the center empty, knowing that they would probably be bent like this. Very, very good, Stephen. Excellent. Thank you. I was a little worried that if he put any cards in the middle, <laughs> that it would uh, obviously get them bent. Uh, but this looks okay. All right, let's take a look at the first one here. Got some Magic the Gathering. If I can get these open. So far, the... Mm, there's a few nicks here and there. Oh, the corners here look bad. That looks bad. Oh, no! Look at what happened to this card. Not sure. Look at that bend. Oh, that sucks. I had a feeling, yeah, don't don't mix and match Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh cards. They're different sizes, and if there's a little pressure put on them, which happens in the mailing process, this is the kind of thing you're risking. Ugh, that sucks. That card is worthless now. Mostly worthless. Um, why are these cards? Is that? Okay, good. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like the edging on some of these is bad, too. Ugh, that sucks. Mm, dang it. Well, here's the Magic the Gathering card. If I remember correctly, this was 4th uh, edition or revised? I can't remember. Uh, Clockwork Beast. Uh, I like some of the old Magic stuff, uh, just for collecting. Um, the sad thing is, is that this was sold to me as a near mint, and obviously it's not near mint anymore. Uh, that sucks. That is... I don't even know what that would be. Would that be heavily played? Or, I mean, it's technically damaged. So, and then there's this... <laughs> to add to it, there's... I don't know if you can see that, but there's like some gook on the bottom there. Ugh, that sucks so much. Damn it. And I again, I like these older magic cards. I like... I get them, basically stick them in a sleeve, and then I put them in the collecting bin. And I just leave them there. But uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with that one now. Let's see what we got here. We got Abyss Actor Hyper Director. Which, uh, again, she's looking a little rough. Or he, I should say, is looking a little rough. Exodia, the Legendary Defender. Got a couple of these. Um, God, there's little markings all over these cards. Got one right here, too. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little mark there, right there at the top. Another Exodia. Uh, that corner's a little messed up. Palladium Oracle Mana. Oh man, she's looking bad. This is this is not starting out well. Apparently, he tried to do what he could to make sure the cards were shipped properly, but yeah, um, this did not turn out well. That corner's messed up. Lockout Gardener. That corner. That corner's messed up. That corner's messed up. Oh, uh, this is so bad. And even, what is this? Lockout Gardener. Did I order commons? I'll have to look. I don't generally order commons. And what is that? Like some gunk on there. Uh, same thing here, unfortunately. That corner's messed up. That is a bad corner. That is not near mint. That is not near mint at all. That is at least lightly played. A little disappointed. Let's move on to the next section. Hopefully things will get a little bit better. I can 
and get these open. I'm gonna need my knife again. There, I'll actually leave the knife right over here because I have a feeling we're gonna need it again. Come on. This is really... I'm gonna have to cut into the sleeve here to get these out. Because <laughs> if I, there we go. Okay, I didn't want to pull on them because I don't want to accidentally bend them. All right, let's see what we got here. Again, similar situation here. He he tried to seal up the bottom so that they wouldn't move around, but that actually caused a bit of damage to the car. Oh no. Oh, look at that. Got a bad corner, got a crease. I don't know if you can see that. Let me get it in there. It's got a bit of a... don't know if you can tell, but that... Well, I don't think you can see it on camera, but I see it. It's right here. There's a little crease. There's a little mark here. Let's see what else we got. Again, the corner is damaged. Um, that one from the front looks okay. Uh, that one's got corner damage again. More corner damage. They've all got corner damage, basically. A little corner damage there. Same there. Same there. Yeah, they all have corner damage. Ugh. That's not good, man. Decode Talker. Another Decode Talker. Aramage uh, Rosemary, which I wanted ad additional cards of her. White Mare. Speedway Portal Machine. Speedway Hexasaucer. Protector Wolf of uh, Destruction Sword, Maleficent Paradox Gear. That has a little bit of a ding there on the front, too. Not sure if you can see that, but it's right there. It's got a ding on that one, and this one. Uh, yeah, this is not looking good so far, man. It seems like through shipping, every single card went down at least one grade level. They were, again, they were sold to me as near mint. I only buy near mint cards. Uh, the few times that I have not bought near mint cards uh, were accidents. <laughs> but yeah, I, I do not buy damaged cards generally. Ugh, if I can get this thing out, come on. It's very, very rare that I will actually get myself a damaged card on purpose. Okay, let me see. Are we running into the same problem here? Okay, that looks better. Oh, we got another mark here. Yep, got a visible mark there. I know you can see that on camera because I can see it. <laughs> oh, what do we got? Uh, I think these are all Yoko tuners. Okay, maybe not. That one looks all right, I guess. This one's got a ding up on the top. Uh, you can see that a little bit in the back. Paleozo uh, Paleozoic Eldonia. Neat looking card. I did not have one of these. Again, corner damage. Twilight Ninja Jogan. The front looks acceptable. The back actually looks okay. A little tiny, tiny little ding, but you could still call it a near mint, so that's not bad. Uh, Kiwi Magician Girl. I don't believe I had the secret rare version of this. Front actually looks okay. Uh, got some marks there, got a mark there. That corner's got a ding on it. Obelisk the Tormentor. I think I got a few of these. And I got some slifers too. But again, same thing. Got some damage there, got a ding there, got a little ding there. Again, more marks. It feel like all of these have that mark there. Look, in fact, both of these. I don't know if you can see it there in camera, but both of these, there's a mark here and a mark there. A lot of these cars have that. So I don't know if that's from shipping or from storage or what, but a lot of these cards have that. Ugh, that's not good. Slide for the Sky Dragon. I like the art on this one. Let's see. Fronts look decent. Again, look. Again, same marks what what's going on here man the same little marks and this in about the same place on the back <sighs> again i don't know if it's from shipping 
or how he stored the cards or what, but come on, man. You, you got to do a better job than this. This is not good. Things are looking dirty right now, man. This is not good at all. Let's move on to the next section. Let me get, just cut this open. Okay. Come on. I just want you to come out of there. And again, it's not wanting to, so I'm going to tear this a little bit. There we go. Okay. All right, let's see. Any corner damage here? Again, that mark is there again. Uh, we'll look at the front here real quick. I think I got a bunch of slifers because I wanted I wanted to get a bunch of slifers so I could do a giveaway. Uh, but some of these cards I may not even be able to give away because I only like giving away mint cards. I don't like giving away damaged cards because that just seems kind of crap. Um, the top there looks a little dinged. Got a ding here on the edge. That front looks okay. Got a little bit of damage there on the edging. Corner, just a little bit, but it's still near mint. Uh, that one looks okay. A little bit of damage up top. And the front on that one with the tiniest little bend there in the corner. Let's look on the back. Let's see if all of these have that same telltale sign on the back. Yeah, look. There's the crease there again. I'm trying to get it so you can see it there. There's the crease. There's the crease on this one. They all have it. There it is again. Every single one of these cards. Again, another one. Every single one of these cards has that crease. Look at that. All four of these. They all have it. <sighs> they all have the crease. This is bad, dude. This is really, really bad. I don't generally like crapping on people when they sell me cards, but you know, if, if I'm going to fork over good money for cards, you need to make sure that they are in good condition, they're in the condition you say they're in, and they get to me in the condition that you sell them to me in. Because if not, I get upset, and I'm a little upset right now. Alien Shock Trooper, that actually looks pretty good. Oh, look at that, no marking on that one. Good. That one actually looks okay. A Grey Cup Umbrella. That one, let me see. Tiny little blemish up there, you can't really see it though. And a little bit on the corner there, that looks acceptable. Bloom Hermanus, the Meldus Composer. That one looks okay. No bend there. More of these, I've got a few of these. That's a little blemish there. Back on this one looks okay. Yeah, that's the one with the blemish. That one looks okay. Dark Antheon the dragon. Or just the dragon. Whatever. A uh, tiny little nick on the edging there. Uh, and again, look. Another one with a little crease there. Uh, King Dragon. No crease there. Since there is no crease on the King Dragon... There is one on this card, and there isn't one on this card. This one was kind of held together between like that. So I'm guessing that this is not from shipping. Because again, this card in the center was protected. It was, it was packaged like this. And this one doesn't have the marking on the back. This one does have the mark on the back. And this one does not. This is not from shipping. This is from storage. Whoever, the person that I bought this from, did not store these cards very well. I guess at some point they got hit or had some pressure put on them, and now a lot of them have that back mark. Thankfully, these last two didn't have it. All right, last little mini pack here. Ugh, so many of these cards are, are bad. It's really... Yeah, it's, it's just really, you know. All right, let's open this one up. Let's see what we got here. Let's take a look at the backs here. Let me see if any of these. Let's see, that one looks... It's got a little ding on it, but it looks okay. Ever so slight blemish there. That looks okay. Looks like most of these are... Oh, hold on. 
I spoke too soon. These two seem okay. This one again has that telltale blemish, a little crease. This one also has a little crease. And this one looks like it has little pokes in it. Okay, so these two have that same blemish. Again, those two were on the inside here. They were, on, they were in between these other cards. So again, this is not from shipping. This is, it was already like this <sighs> when, he, when he sent it to me. Deco Talker, Shadel Construct, another Yoko Tuner, Shooting Code Talker. Shooting Code Talker again, got a lot of those. Okay, and these last two, what were these? Ah, oh, Arc Fiend's Call. And both of these have the mark on the back. That sucks. Um, these are neat cards, and that's obviously why I bought them. Um, but like half of them are damaged. And that's a real bummer, uh, because again, a lot of these I would put in my collection. A lot of these I buy, because like the Arcvane's Call, I did not have this card. So what I was thinking was, let me get one, I'll keep one for myself, and then maybe I'll do a giveaway for the second one. But again, I don't want to give away a card that has that. That's just not... I'm very stringent on the conditions of my cards. Like if I have a card that has even the tiniest of blemishes, I will sell it as 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 lightly played. I will not sell it as near bent. Cuz I'm just that hardcore when it comes to conditions. I know they're just pieces of cardboard, but if you're going to invest money in something, uh they need to be and, and someone says it's near mint or or pristine, they better damn well be mint or pristine. And the biggest victim of them all, again, this one I think was shipping, but still that really sucks. And other than that, you take that away, it's got a little bit of a blemish here, uh, but you take that away and the card's actually still in really good shape. I mean, considering how old this card is, it's still in fairly good shape, and that is a damn shame. It's a damn shame that that happened to this card. I know it's not a super highly prized, expensive card, but still, it's a collectible, and it's just a damn shame that that happened to this card. It's a real shame. Anyways, that's all I got, guys. I'll go through these again. Uh, like I said, a lot of these have damage. Um, I don't know if I'll actually contact the seller because I don't know uh, if anything would be done. Um, it, do it probably doesn't make a lot of sense to mail these back because these weren't super expensive cards. Um, but still, regardless, I don't care if it's a $100 card or if you pay 25 cents for a card. If you sell a card that you mark as near mint, regardless of how much you sell it for, it better be near mint. Otherwise, you're ripping the other person off. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. I just hit my camera. <laughs> Hopefully, next mail call will be better. Until then, be safe and be careful who you buy from, because this too can happen to you.